you're talking about being empowered like the prophets, you need to understand that the position of a prophet is not that far away from you in the first place. You need to understand that every prophet needed to go through a test for them to even to present a testimony for them to show the people that, hey, even though majority of us is lost in darkness, God is still reaching out to you and you can still transcend from your darkness into the marvelous light. And that's not no... Because you can't go into the light forever. You need to understand the esoteric knowledge behind something. When someone ascends the darkness, you go into the light, you become lighter. But then you have to go back into the darkness again because this is how the 360 work. Because when you say darkness, you really talk about your own subjectivity. So look, for you to even communicate a message in your own unique way from your own relative position, whether you're a politician, whether you're an artist and things like that, you got to have your own subjectivity. Look, you have to understand the power of the darkness. You have to understand that the invisible may, gives the visible power because we create the invisible uh, the, the visible expression from the invisible uh impression and things like that and a lot of the invisible things that's what gives us intuition divine guidance but they demonize these things and yeah a lot of y'all religions especially y'all christians and y'all muslims oh this the, these these occult uh astrology numerology shit, that's demonic you need to understand that numbers letters is just a language of symbolism that's actually just dumbed down you need to understand what these letters and symbols are pointing to because little do you know it's actually a faster way of you understanding a point and communicating a point and all these words i'm spitting after is literally based on a mental sigil that i created so it can actually create this type of alchemy this type of loop system to actually communicate this message because everything has a mechanism behind it the same way the sun and the moon rotate the same way the sun ascend and descend is the same shit that you're supposed to be doing with your mind meaning for example right Let's say that you woke up in the morning. You're supposed to have your own idea throughout the day. Tell yourself, okay, this is how I want the day to feel like, regardless of the external, uh, you know, outcomes or whatever is going on in your family, regardless of the bad things going on, let's say, in your life, right? You're supposed to program yourself, okay, this is how I want to feel throughout my day. This is how I want to be throughout my day. Because little do you know, you, by you programming the invisible, how you feel, let's say your heart chakra, or your root chakra, you know what I'm saying? You got to get into your own chart, your own relative position to understand these things and shit like that. That's actually going to program the visible. So what I mean by the visible, I mean like the mannerisms, the behaviors, the way you carry yourself out in the environment and shit like that. All those things come from a person's sense of self. So if you have a very low, weak self-image, in psychologists, they call it a sense of self. You don't have a strong sense of self. That means that any person with a strong sense of self, any person with a strong wave energy can come and wash you the same way a tsunami just come and wash people over. Because you need to understand these are energies that we are actually building. And there's so many different practices that you can get into to build these energies, right? So for you to even become a prophet you got to understand what test are you here to go through because God will never give you the knowledge of something unless you go through something in the first place, right? This is why a lot of millionaires, before they even get to the position of a millionaire, they're not a millionaire and profit is the same shit. A millionaire can tell you what's going to happen to you based on them actually going through the experiences that it took for them to get there, right? That might be cutting off a lot of friends. That might be cutting off a lot of bad habits. That might be, uh, you know, them not overindulging. Now, tell me those things does not sound like the same thing as religion. Overindulging, uh, gluttony, you know what I'm saying? You have to maybe cut out some pleasures, you know, Venus and things like that. So the same things that we do in every area of life is the same thing that we do to get anything in any area of life. If you get, if you know how to be really healthy, you can show how other, you can show other people how to get healthy based on you going through that test to get that testimony in the first place, right? First place, right? So this goes for any discipline so each one of those disciplines whether you're into christianity whether you're into islam or any of those practices depending on where you what geographic relation you come from depending on the programming that's been embedded in that area because a lot of the christianity in the west and shit like that you gotta understand that shit don't even come from there that's just an eastern practice that a lot of these jews brought over there as a form of way of domesticating y'all but later on based on them having witch and wizard energy they understand it because look the goal of a religion is what it's an operative expression of a static energy so what do they want you guys to they created this box right this magic mechanism right you can even look at it as aquarius aquarius is like the energy circuit the circuit the circuit system right and they want you guys to take your ideas which is what your sparks your individuality your sense of self create an opportunity it's called a sextile in astrology for you guys to take your energy and put it through that magic circuit aquarius and you just boom you just go and charge their systems okay think think about it none of their mechanisms would even work 
Not even the church, not even the mosque, not even the synagogues, any place of worship or anybody for that fact that's running like some type of witchcraft scheme and they're trying to like, because you know, a lot of people get into the false light and do like uh, some next shit and mess up, mess up their mind and shit like that. But you need to understand, they're not trying to necessarily mess up your mind when it comes to the Abrahamic religion. They're just trying to uh, take your energy and use that for their purposes and things of that nature. Because you got to understand, the church wouldn't be functional if you didn't pay attention to the pastor. The pastor would, believe me, go, stop going to church. Stop going to church. Stop going to the mosque. Watch how pissed off the imam and the pastor will get. Will get. You'll see them knocking at your door, wondering what the is going on, because they're not getting their money on time. Now that's the pastors. The Muslims, they're gonna get some type of righteous spirit because they come from the Eastern continent. The sword of Michael. This is why the temperaments match as above, so below. So we're looking at the sword of Michael. You're looking at what Aries. Taurus, and you're looking at uh, Gemini. So you're looking at spring. So they like to see the sun rise. So they're looking at their ideas. So th they might develop some type of righteousness energy. Like, I am right. But you need to understand, you only write for you. That's what true motherfuckers need to understand. You only write for you. You're not right about nobody else. Because what's right for you is not necessarily right for somebody else. And we can easily debunk this by looking at people's natures. And archetypes and shit like some people is just more logical. They fit in, 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 now we all have access to all these spectrums. If you understand this, this wizard, witch, magician, prophet energy, right? It's not even a prophet energy. That's just somebody who created a position for them to think that you kind of, uh, they, they above you and they can look down on you and they look, oh, uh, this is what it means to, you got to profess to me. You got to confess to me. Oh uh, yeah. Are uh, you, are uh, you a sinner? Oh uh, yeah. Come get on your knees here and feel bad and feel guilty and feel ashamed. Little do you know, they're using negative dispositions to keep you stuck at a particular place. A lot of the people in the religious community especially, they don't even be getting any results or any real changes in their life until they realize, oh shit, this shit is a scam, this shit is a scheme. A lot of these niggas got like horse blinders. They might go and do some sinful shit. Like a lot, how a lot of these UAE niggas and Saudi Arabia niggas be like, Taking a shit on hookers, they be hooking up with hookers while they, they they got they're married to their wives and shit like that. But see, they be getting into their root chakra energies and they be expressing it that way, right? Now, hey, keep in mind, there's no right or wrong, but for you to be in a, a indoctrinated to something and leave your house and say that, oh, this is what I represent on Islam and I follow this doctrine, but for you to go behind closed doors and do this very opposite, same different thing. Uh, to me, that suggests that you actually mentally retarded because you carrying two opposite actions that are obviously not in that work framework of what you're pertaining yourself to be. So you need to understand that first of all, that you're an imposter. You're likely uh, suffering from imposter syndrome and you don't know who you are and you got all these lights. When I say lights, I mean an awareness that you as an observer get into that you want to walk around in your body and do like let's say you get in your root chakra and you want to aggressively slap someone in the fucking face if you want to do that do that but don't give me no moral justification behind it if you're gonna go wipe out a whole population as a muslim under the under the guise that yeah this is the right religion again what's right for you is not what's right for somebody else so you go around and you start destroying cultures and knocking down buildings from the perspective of back then and you know, separating women and children and slavery and now look this is what humanity has been doing for all of history but don't come to me and expect me to sit here and pretend like i'm fucking stupid and ex 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 accept me expect me to accept that oh this is the right thing because you all muslims know this is what y'all be doing y'all know y'all be pretending I and mean, y'all be pretending hard i mean like it's an act y'all be like oh yeah we good actors. Oh, we're about to get into heaven. Even when Family Guy made that one episode where uh, Osama Bin Laden was, what's it called? He was, uh, he was, I think he shot somebody or he, he we did like 9-11 and then he was saying, he did something bad anyways, but then he said, Allahu Akbar. Or, or, uh, or some such, the Shahada or some shit like that. And then when he closed his eyes and he opened his eyes, he went into heaven. You know how many y'all Muslims be low-key thinking that and doing that? That y'all God is dumb, that y'all God can't see what y'all doing? So that let me know that y'all know yourselves that your God is some type of mechanism, some type of earthly control grid system. So that let me, that confirmed me, y'all already know that. And y'all think this is the right way of going about things in, in terms of order and shit like that. To have an orderly war to organize your internal chaos. Your feminine nature is, especially y'all Muslims, y'all be scared of females and shit like that. So y'all 
put some hijabs on them, some ropes, some shit like that. Y'all nah, 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 girl. You better not show off them titties walking around. Mm-hmm. I got a small dick and you know it and I know it. Or, or you know, you better not walk around uh, sh shaking your ass like that. Mm-hmm. God forbid. Mm-hmm, girl. And then, you know, you had this Allah mentality float on top of their heads because they accepted they was born into it, indoctrinated into it, indoctrinated into a doctrine, uh, you know, some dogma or some shit like that. And they beat themselves up for even trying to be women. How fucked up is that? How can you beat yourself up for trying to be a woman? But anyways, regardless of that matter. But see, even those women, a lot of them, they get polarized. That's the thing. You got to be balanced. I'm not telling you you can't walk around with the garb and be modest. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you got to be balanced. Because what happened with a lot of y'all Muslims, a lot of y'all Muslims start doing some extreme righteous shit. And you low-key want to separate from it. So you go overseas to some Western countries. I mean, you may be a Saudi girl, you might start doing OnlyFans or whatever. That's what I'm saying. You got to balance these virtues and principles and you got to decide how you want to carry them out. And you got to understand your own numerology chart, your life path. And you got to understand your own astrological positioning so you can understand what planets are in what houses and what's relative to your position. Because how you carry out your duties and obligations is way different than how other people carry out their duties and obligations and things of that nature. Whatever natures you have, you created your 360 in a different way. You might have Venus in this in, in this in this sign. You might have Saturn in this sign. You need to understand all those signs is bullshit too. All it is just mathematics and speculative energy for us to give you an artistic picture or a word for you to understand what we're pinpointing you in space as far as the nature. For example, you might say that this person is a glutton. You might say this person is an angry person. This person is a wrathful person. You can see that person is carrying out the behavior, the temperament of that, but we're giving a name to it so we can all refer to it and be like, guys, look, that's that. Because we have to create some type of terms and conditions between us so we can even come to the, so we can even form, create some type of relating, relating shift of energy, aka seventh house. So we can even communicate amongst our environment, third house. So we can even have some 11th house type of associations. Uh, you know, groups, group tribe energy, and shit like that. If you don't do that, then you don't understand it. But it's not for you to sit back and demonize that shit and be like, oh, yeah, only Muhammad could do it, brother, praise Muhammad. Or for you, oh, uh, no, this was a Jesus thing, a Jesus piece. No, it's not, that's not what they're talking about, bro. The, uh, the, you have access to being a prophet, to being prophetic, just as much as anybody else. All it takes is for you to go through your test because when you go through your test, what are you basically doing? It's just so simple to go over most people's head. You're gathering degrees. So let's say I'm traveling from Canada all the way to the state of Texas, right? There's distance between there, there and there. Let's say you're going from being wrathful to being balanced, right? There's certain things that you did and accumulated on your travel there, degrees, millimeters, whatever, you, well, however you want to measure it, but for you to get from point A to point B, there's certain experiences that you had to accumulate for you to even want to get there, for you to even get want to get out of that energy, and there's certain maybe techniques that you use, certain new understandings, certain people you certain people you met, some people some people that even inspired you and shit like that or whatever. There's some things that made your spirit react and respond to wanting to get out of that and create a balanced nature. So you decided in your mind, okay, let me travel to that space, and even the people next to you might not even recognize you anymore just based on them knowing you as this person, but now you, this other complete person. Ooh, think about it. They saying you are this complete other person. They basically saying you shifted over. It's like it's like you shifted your energy, you shifted your spectrum into a whole other area. You created a whole new pathway and you traveled down that path all the way to the point that you're now unrecognizable. So this shit is so simple, but it go over people's head. So when you are traveling mentally, gathering degrees of light, because this is what we all doing anyways. Like you traveling in and out of your body, right? You traveling in and out of your body. You go to sleep, boom, you're in the yin realm. You're sleeping. You wake up, boom, you're in the yang realm. What are you becoming aware of? Your internal natures. Because you can't tell me that when you go to sleep, when you go to dream at night, you're not becoming aware of your internal natures. Because in your dreams, that's the only thing you see. So therefore, when you die, whatever, where, how, whatever location you're going to, no matter what a holistic life you live due to the lack of balance and the lack of understanding of what you're actually doing, you're giving that energy that Yahweh, Allah, Jesus, demon, golem, idol. You need to understand that whatever space you go to when you die, bruh, you're going there alone. The same way you go to your dreams alone, that's the same shit you're doing. But you're going to be looking at a bunch of other spirits in the, in the same space as you. But So the same way when you die here and you go somewhere else and you go to dream and you go by yourself is the same shit that happen when you die. But... You got to understand what's going on. Otherwise, 
a spirit with more understanding than you is gonna come and rock you to sleep based on them having more science, mathematics, or more understanding of spirituality, having experiences, aka experiments. Because if you're just idle, docile in your room, you're not gonna be able to handle shit or learn nothing. Like especially a lot of these rich kids, uh, the moment they step outside, they trip on they they trip and on their knee and they start screaming, "Mom, Dad, what the fuck is this experience? I don't know what happened." They can't even handle that. So you think someone like that is gonna travel far in the yin realm in the subconscious realm? It could go the left hand path, separate from all these lights and awarenesses, the mosque, the cross, the Islamic uh, moon and star, whatever the fuck y'all refer to, which really actually is talking about the star of Venus. That's what the Islamic star refers to on the in the in the Pakistani flag and the Turkish flag. All these things refer to just the Venus energy, but now y'all turn into the Kaaba, which is the Saturn energy, which is them telling you again that you're under our Saturn structure and uh, structure. So you go after their status, right? Because that's the mathematical astrological polarity of the planet Saturn and just what that position means, right? There's certain elements in there, but you want to acquire their status. You want to be a mom. You want to be an, an abd as a Muslim. If you want to be, uh, as a Christian, you want to be a pastor. You want to be a, a, a worshiper. You want to give yourself these names as a status and things like that. Or And you want to, on the other side, Aquarius, you want to associate with that cult, with that group. Not knowing that you could create that same very, the same energy on yourself. But you need to understand, other people is going to look at you and demonize you based on you being able to get out and walk out the matrix. People don't like that shit. People, people don't like people they can't control. People don't like people that don't conform. People don't like people that they don't know what they're actually thinking and feeling because now they can't predict your line of behavior. People don't like unpredictable people, period. So if you got your own ideas, thoughts, and feelings about the world, just know people's gonna look at you kind of funny. A lot of people look at me kind of funny. But when you're a bad motherfucker, can nobody even touch you? In fact, you eclipse them. Like, they can't even think and feel beyond you. You already got, you already saw the game set up way ahead of time. You know who likes you. You know who don't like you. You know who's for you. You know who's against you. And you just ahead of everybody in time mentally. Like, you skip all the little petty shit. You go straight, straight to the fucking throne room to God, to source. Real fucking shit. I love y'all from the goddamn bottom of my heart. You better fucking believe it. Real fucking shit.